Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial from Era FX So in this video we'll be learning to make this big eyes effect or some bulging eyes effect in a very simple way So I already have a video in my project let me right click on this and click on new sequence from clip so that a sequence is created with that video settings so now let me play this video for you there's this lady doing makeup and we would like to add some big eyes effect to this clip to do that i'll go to the effects panel and type in sphere eyes so i have this sphere eyes effect in the distort folder of the video effects and i'll drag this onto my video once you do that you can see that the effect is added in the effect controls and you can see that we have a center of sphere marker so i'll drag this onto this left eye okay just to have some clarity i'll rename this effect to left and now i click on this timer button here for center of sphere if you don't find the marker make sure you click on the effect here so that you'll be able to see it i'll zoom in a bit Now I'll move few frames forward and ensure that this is exactly in the center of the eye. So once you move this, you can see that a keyframe is created at that point. And I'm using the scroll of my mouse to move few frames forward. All right. Once it is done, I'll simply increase the radius value to around 200 or 150. And if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how one of the eye is bulged and that is what we need. You can notice that the edges are quite sharp. So I'll simply click on this create ellipse mask and drag this onto our eye and simply feather this a bit I'll reduce the mask expansion there you go if I start playing the video you can see that this is how we can add some big eyes effect you can repeat the same thing for the other eye as well I'll repeat the same thing I'll drag the same effect sphere eyes and I'll drag this onto my video and I'll change the center of sphere to the right eye like this and I'll keyframe it. I'll fast forward this video just so that it does not be boring. I'll change the radius of this effect to around 150 and I'll also feather this by adding a mask so that the edges are quite smooth and not sharp so if i start playing the video you can see that this is how the big eyes effect is added onto a clip earlier it looked something like this but now it looks something like this i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram See you guys next time with another tutorial.